Now, I've just seen the news now. I've been seeing a, a bit of mixed responses going about this about a young lady called Gwen Berry, who is a uh, Gwendolina Denise Berry um, she's an American um, track artist um, track artist track track athlete um, she does um, the um, hammer I believe yeah the hammer um, she does and she came third and she's through to the Olympic Games um, but she didn't she turned her back on the national anthem in America and put the fist up yeah, I think I believe she put the fist up as well, but she turned the back um, and basically s- side eyed it. It all kicked off anyway. So people are like uh, 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 feeling about the thing anyway, still yeah. And then she explained herself. Said, "Hold on a second, we was told not to do that. Yeah, they're not gonna do that. I mean, they did it without warning me. So basically, she's always a bad person, she's saying it as a, a threat because." Um, she's known to be open about this situation and they kept it quiet and then they snooped it on um, snooped it on her so I watched a few interviews of what she's saying and she wants to kind of represent the injustice that um, her people are facing um, and she's seeing there now people are saying that she shouldn't play for um, um, work, tra- run, um, compete for the USA but we, we're hitting up a dilemma guys yeah now if you're not black and you're thinking you know, you hear some of my Van Marina show, we all vexed about Sterling and going, oh, he's scoring the goals. But the thing is, we're not, we, what we need, we need athletes to highlight the injustices which are systematically happening in, in our situation. Why is the prisons full of black people? Why are black people the only people that get, um, not only people, are, are more likely to face strife? Is it okay for athletes that make it? Yeah, not to highlight the fact that basically their brother and sister, their cousins, their, their compadre from the ghetto, yeah, not even the ghetto, from their community is 10 times more likely to get arrested. 10 times, and not because they're doing some bad badness anyway, so yeah, because everybody else does badness. It's not though, just it's not exclusive to black people, but we're the only ones who seem to be getting caught because the only ones we're interested in, you actually blight and actually give less sentences for white people to this very day whether you're in the UK or the USA we just heard today that a police officer um, has got away with murdering um, Dalian Atkinson and just getting four years for his murder people could say oh listen four years the guy who killed George Floyd got some time you know so how on earth does the officer get four years and we know if if, 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 any, if a black person does that it's, it's like yo it's not four years I guarantee you that you know um, for straight up murder now Going away from that case anyway, so this is not about Dylan Eckerson, but I have to salute Gwen Berry for actually representing the injustices that has happened to us. Now, if you say go back to your own country or don't want to uh, compete for the country, listen, the problem that you face, it's not even their country in the first place that people are moaning about, yeah? Is it the colonizers' country? No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's, it's Native Americans. It's not. So when it says don't compete for this country, it's not even your country, the people that are saying it. It's not even the country's national anthem. It's not even the origins. No respect, disrespect. And you're going to turn around and says, oh, when people are now saying, hold on a second, you annex this, this 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 country. You, America is the the bad, the, the best or the worst, whatever you, way you look at it, example of capitalism out there. Europeans just took the land off the native people, took the land off, no payoff, just took the land off and told them to move so we can make money and drain your resources and kill you at the same time so when somebody turns around um, a couple hundred years later and says i want to highlight injustices of the people that were draft drafted into this country for slave labor who the like like what we what, what's wrong with us what is wrong with people out there you know if the national anthem i mentioned it before things like the the, the the, the, the myth and this is where it goes down to education i'm going to continue going on everything about education because end of the day still yeah i was told growing up in a in a school majority well we was the only black family so you know, guess what the other color was anyway yeah there's only one you know what i mean um and we was always told that the commonwealth was almost a case of a blessing on the world it it it, it, it was literally something that literally made, made made everyone educated it took the savages up to the level of um, high tea and uh, they can use a knife and fork now they don't use their hands anymore you know what i'm saying that's unfortunate how people look at um uh, you know um the rest of the world you know what i mean that's how it's been put in the back of their mind 
So the reality shows, but no, 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 no. The whatever the rest of the world was civilized and had their systems all in place. But the Europeans annexed the land. If I use the right word there. But anyway, they take the land. You know what I'm saying? So so for me guys, you know, for Gwen Berry, I salute you, sis, because you know what? She's got she's she stand up. Stand up and said, you know what? I you 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 guys gotta stop disrespecting my people. So I'm not gonna respect your anthem, your flag, nothing. But I will represent the country because the top vlog that we had to show is she's she's been dragged to the country. It's on their free blood, free labour that they built the country. Without black people in that country, they wouldn't have free labour to this very day. We only go into too much detail, but we know they're getting free labor by chucking us all into prison. Where's it us as black people and then um, getting them to do free labor in prison? Um, black and brown people, you know what I mean? But anyway, so if you want to check out about that, do check out the uh, I think I believe it's the Netflix series. I don't know if it's the 13th Amendment or so on, so on, something like that story. I can't remember which amendment it is, but check that out on Netflix and it will qu- quietly explain the prison malarkey that's going on in America right now. So all these things are going on and the young lady can't even say anything about it. But anyway, this is Roger on Affinity Actually, Roger, Roger can say um, a bit too much about it when it comes to these subjects, but I'm going to pull out these subjects as the coming week by week because I do see people, other people mentioning and talking about this and the black and white who, who thinks she should shut up and stop doing this. But the actual show is that, you know what? She isn't saying defund the police. She's not saying that. She's just saying, yo, let's fix up right to this day. It's, 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 it's not good and it's not fair. So that's why you're here. I'm finished extra way to be fast and extra. I'm here to celebrate gospel music of black, black origin. And the beauty of it, Gwen Berry is her birthday is coming. Is it coming up? Oh, just gone. She's just turned 32. She's a June baby, just like myself anyway. Still, yeah, celebrating my birthday, man. Enough love. God bless you. Gwen Berry.